biggest LA port faces massive traffic jam. There's over 60 ships unable to unload their cargo due to port congestion. This is an update of what's going on there. The jams are linked to several factors, including staffing problems that have been bugging American companies in the aftermath of the pandemic onset, and despite high levels of unemployment, many firms cannot hire enough personnel to run their operations at full capacity. Over 62 container ships, they're stuck outside port in Los Angeles, ports, not one, but many ports, and Long Beach amid disruptions in supply chains in the U.S., this is according to Daily Mail reports, citing satellite photos showing massive maritime jams. The ports are responsible for processing 40% of all containers uh, arriving in the U.S., 40%, and are among the main entries for Chinese goods into the American market. And according to the media outlet, the queuing to birth at the ports is the longest since the onset of the pandemic, and it's uh, at least three times longer than two months uh, uh, that it was two months ago. Over 40 ships anchored, 20 more drifting, simply drifting, waiting to get into the port. This is according to the Maritime Exchange of Southern California reports. Please support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And these are some of the cues that we see. Massive, massive ships. 40% of the cargo coming into the United States, mostly from China as we can see. Port officials say the reason for the maritime jam is a massive backlog at the port complex caused by labor shortages that is experiencing. Workers have been overwhelmed by the number of arriving containers since at least August, but the port's working on implementing experimental systems allowing to receive vessels on a 24-7 basis. We welcome this pilot project by TTI as a first step to extending gates to 24-7 operations and we encourage our cargo owners and trucking partners to give this initiative program a try. This is what the statement from Port of Long Beach Executive Director Mario Cordero said. LA ports are not the only ones being overwhelmed by arriving goods. The shipping company FedEx is currently rerouting over 600,000 packages per day in a dire attempt to sort out the backlog. The reason for this is similar. Many of the FedEx facilities are understaffed. Some of them have only 65% of the needed number of employees. They're operating at 25% of their potential capacity at best, can you imagine? This affects, of course, the shipping time, cost, and possibility, possibly exacerbates the backlog of wares at the port. Chief Financial Officer of FedEx, Mike Lenz, projects the issues will persist throughout the remainder of the year, uh, with the impending holiday season coming, exacerbating the existing problems with understaffing. Daily Mail notes that the backlog at ports as well as shipping issues have uh, already affected the prices for artificial Christmas trees, for example, without specifying the spike in their price tags. This is an update on what's happening with these uh, backlogs, the congestion of these sh cargo ships. This is Sputnik News. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.